I'm Troy Kirby with Linwood Today with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. On Monday, January 18th, 2021, the Washington State Legislature celebrated Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and honored his sacrifice to the nation for the goal of civil and worker rights. The Senate Labor, Commerce, and Tribal Affairs Committee held a public hearing on Senate Bill 5115. The legislation, sponsored by Senators Marco Leas and Jesse Solomon, establishes health emergency labor standards for frontline workers, providing employee compensation during a public health emergency, including requiring employers to accommodate an employee's voluntary usage of protective equipment. So looking at the various um, options of how we could address this pandemic or any future statewide health emergencies that are sadly perhaps going to happen, uh, we started working on this quite a comprehensive approach over the summer. So it um, has a, a reach that's further than some people think. Uh, we have some protections currently in place for healthcare workers and frontline workers. But, you know, we have tens of thousands of grocery store workers and bus drivers and people in meat packing plants who are struggling. The presumption of workplace exposure is super vital to our members. Even with the governor's instruction around this, we've watched many of our employers, uh, including one of our hospitals, St. Michael's, who was in a big outbreak at the time, argue that our members had in fact caught it out in the community at the gas station um, and not from the active outbreak occurring in their facility at the time. I do have also concern with um, the, uh, the sick leave provision of 80 hours. Uh, this is yet again another cost on employers when we don't have the money. They already don't have the money coming in and if all of their employees are going to be on sick leave and paid that amount, it could, it could undermine the cost when they don't have the revenue coming in. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by Linwood Today, covering the 2021 legislative session.